Welcome to Blackbridge Sound, the greasiest home recording channel on YouTube. Today we're going to be experimenting a little bit, trying to achieve a Led Zeppelin, John Bonham type drum sound. So in terms of the gear, I have an old Ludwig 26 inch bass drum from the 70s. It was actually my dad's and I recently had it restored there. It has a Weather King coated ambassador on the front head and a black dot on the batter head, same as, as Bono used. Fuck Bono. Yeah, did you say Bono? No, no he ain't that's... singing for you too. Same as what Bonzo used. Bonzo? That's what he's, that's his nickname, Bonzo. That's Bonzo? Yeah. Isn't that like a Sesame Street fucking character or something? I have no idea. But he's called Bonzo. Anyways. We have the right bass drum head. We have the Pearl Steve Ferrone signature snare drum, which is basically a black beauty, which is what John Bonham used. What do we got on the mics there, bud? Well, we're using the Glyn Johns technique and we've got a Shure Beta 52 on the kick drum, two AKG C214s on the overheads, one above the snare and one kind of over by the floor tom, pointed at the snare. And uh, we're using an LCT 240 Pro on the room. Yeah, and that room mic's just a little bit of a black bridge sound, a little twist on yeah, things, little. Right? little flavor that we came up with ourselves. Although I'm sure Glenn Johns also used room mics, but you know. So in my research in terms of what gear Bonham used, I've seen a lot of varying information on how he tuned it, how he had it set up. I've seen some sources say that he didn't use anything on his bass drum at all in terms of muffling or dampening. I've seen some sources say that he used a felt strip on the batter side, and I've seen some where it says he used a felt strip on both the batter and the resonant head. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of nothing at all, no muffling, nothing inside, and no felt strip. We're gonna do one felt strip on the batter head, and then we're gonna do a felt strip on both heads. And we're gonna show you the difference of all three, and you can let us know in the comments which one you like the best. So this is nothing at all, no dampening whatsoever. If I can even get it on here, it's harder than it looks. You're probably doing it the wrong way too. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do the locomotion. You're not gonna help. Just gonna sit there and film. What do you want me to do? There you go, buddy. There you go, bud. Accountability. Yeah. If it doesn't work, I'm blaming you. I didn't touch it. If there's a better way to do this, let us know in the comments. You just had it perfect the one time and you'll never get it again. Why well, you don't fuck this shit. Okay. Well, let's see here. And this is with one felt strip. And this is a felt strip on the batter head and the resonant head.
Now we're gonna see how this drum sound holds up in kind of like a rock mix. We're gonna take our regular, uh, you know, music that we have written and used for our demos and we're gonna kind of zepify it a little bit. Let's go. Well, there we go. That is our attempt at kind of a John Bonham, Led Zeppelin drum sound. To felt or not to felt? That is the question. I mean, personally, I kind of, I didn't think the difference was that drastic in terms of the felts and all that. I mean, when you're playing it, the tone doesn't really change that much. It just dampens it like a little bit, at least from what I heard. I probably prefer it with the with both felts on the front and the resonant head, to be honest with you, but uh, I didn't think it made like a dramatic difference either way. It probably made less of a difference than I thought it was going to make. The drum still sounded like a cannon no matter what. It really did make less of a difference than I expected. Like between all three, like they sounded a lot more similar than I was expecting them to. Totally, yeah, I thought it was gonna really deaden the sound, so it definitely is a lot less like uh, after the note, but in terms of the actual initial attack of the drum, I didn't really find that it made that much of a difference. You know what though, like the uh, like doesn't really come through the mics no. as much either. You hear it more in the room, but like, I didn't really notice it on recording. No, not at all. And the kind of thing too is like the, the type of miking technique we're using, which is similar to what they would have used back in the day. You're not doing any close miking, everything is far away. So any of that resonance kind of is, is not really coming through the mic. So I, I was actually pretty happy with how close we were able to get. Obviously it doesn't sound the same, but we want to know what you think. What did you think of our attempt at the John Bonham Led Zeppelin drum sound? What do you think we should have done different? If you have any tips or tricks, let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay in tune with what we're doing there. Keep in touch, let us know uh, how cool we are and uh, we will see you next time. You've been great, we've been even better. Have a great day. Welcome to Blackbridge Set. What? <laughs> it looked like you're taking her around. <laughs> but I'm just sitting here. <laughs> I don't know your problem. Okay. Fucking hell, mate. Fucking hell, mate. I can be rather loud at times.